hi welcome back guys today i am back with another new video in this video i will discuss with very interesting sql interview question so please watch this video at the end you learn lots of things so let start the video first discuss the question question is the write a sql query to find the number of times each student attend each exam correct so i have to find the uh, find the number of times each student attend each exam and one more thing return the result table order by student id and student name as ascending order okay so basically i have two tables one is student and second one is the examination table so if i expand this one so here you can see that for student table so i have basically four student student id one two three four this is my entire data set for student table and second one is the examination table and examination table basically hold on student id and subject name so here you can see that i have total four student and four ids one two three four and corresponding uh, subject name and my output like that for student id one name subject math and attend exam three so how we can calculate this exam uh, attend exam i will tell you that so here you can see that for student id one subject name is the math so student id one attend math one times now go down so student id one again uh, two times mm, attend math exam so student id one name alice i'll get alice name from the student table and in the examination table i'll get the all the subject name so math and attend exam three okay now go with the uh, student id one is the subject physics so student id one physics one time and student id one physics one more time so student id one attend physics exam two times so here you can see that student id one name alice subject name is the physics and attend exam two so like that we have to calculate all the data set okay so first i have to run the two table for like example student and examination table so first i have to handle with the examination table in the examination table is the student id and student name okay so what i have to do is so i have to use select from examination tables okay so in the examination table i have to take as a student id i have to take as a student i have to take as a student id and what i need i need subject name subject name and i have to group by based on that student id and student name and count the subject okay so here i have to use as a count function is the aggregation count one or you can use start anything as at an exam attend exam okay attend exam for examination table and i have used aggregation so i have to use here group by so i have to use group by as student id and student and subject name so if i copy this one and i have to paste in the group by okay so if i run this query so here you can see that i will get the student id so student id one subject name is the math and attend exam three so most of the work is complete from here okay so i can use here outer query or we can use like ct so in that case i have to use with ct as okay uh, and i have to use uh, what i need and i have to join with the this ct with student table so if i run this student table so here you can see that i have to id so i have to join with the student id with uh, this ct output with student id correct so if i run again so i have to use here select select from what i need i need a student table i need a student s yes. and i have to use here lab join because in the student table all the data is present uh, student can appear in the exam uh, either uh, present or not present so student name will be always there so i have to use here left join lab join and i have to use ct as c on okay on c dot uh, on student dot student dot student id equal to uh, equal to ct dot student id and what i need uh, for in that case i need student id so in the c dot c dot student id c dot comma c dot student id uh, i need student name also i need student name from s dot student name and what i need one more two table two column c dot subject name and comma c dot attend exam so using this i will get the expected output so if i run this query 
so here you can see that i will get the expected output for student id 1 name alice subject math so if i run this table also so you can verify that one so here you can see that my expected output is match or not so student id 1 math taken two times uh, three total three times so i'll get the one name alice subject math and three times physics is the two times i already explained physics and physics and programming is the one time so i'll getting one alice programming one times now go with the one more verification uh, so for the student id 2 only taken exam math only one time so i'll getting math uh, as a one and programming as a one and for three three also uh, math programming physics one one time so three uh, math programming physics one one time and student id 4 taking only one exam math and only one time so i'll getting four and name alex subject name math and at an exam one so i hope you understand this video if you still have a doubt please comment on the below if you visit this channel first time please subscribe this channel we'll meet again goodbye